<laughs> hey guys, and welcome to our review of Boruto, Naruto Next Generations, episode 36. Uh, this was, oh, I guess we're just going to jump right into it because I yeah. kind of flubbed up my opening, but I don't really care at this point. So, this episode was really fun because we kind of have like a mini mini tuning exam right before, you know, well, not before the tuning exam, but it's in place of the graduation exam that kind of got glimpsed over in the original Naruto series. Yeah, this is the Genin exam, basically. Yeah. And I, f I feel like it was kind of, you know, par not parroting, but they're kind of like milking how successful like the tuning exam was for Naruto in terms of like popularity. So they're just kind of like redoing it again with a slight twist. It, this is a lot less uh, in depth than the tuning exam so far, but we're, we'll, we'll yeah. see. Like uh, the scale is significantly smaller, yeah. So that really helps. Like we know it's going to be condensed super fast, and I really liked uh, kind of them highlighting Boruto as a character uh, in terms of him being a shinobi. Like we know Boruto as a character in relationship to like his father and like the rest of like his friends mm -hmm. but we didn't really like talk about him being a shinobi and in comparison to like everyone in generations before him he lacks as kakashi says it's late in this episode like resolve do you how do you feel about like do you think boruto really cares at about anything no not not really like here uh there hasn't been any like super crazy moments where you're just like Oh I man, I gotta do this for my error. Because all the episodes are kind of his resolutions are kind of lukewarm in comparison to Naruto's, where it's just like, okay, everybody is going to die if I don't destroy this guy, or something like that. Well, if it's Boruto, it's just like, yeah, people are going to die, but people can bail him out pretty easily. Like in freaking um, the little hidden miss is just like, okay, we're gonna go fight to bring back uh Kaguya. But we do have the Hokage here, and we and like Sugest, Su, Sugetsu's over there somewhere, and if we really, really need help, we could probably get it still, so it's just like, eh, eh, I can see what they're saying. Yeah, like, when he did go to the Hidden Mist, I feel like, even though it was kind of serious, it wasn't, like, super serious. Like, even the way, like, Barge was kind of handling the situation is just like, uh, frick. I forgot his name. What was the dude's name again? This Kaguya? Oh, wait, no. Uh... <laughs> Kaguya was kind of our main villain <laughs> at one point. But, uh, gosh. The best way I can sum it up in the difference between Naruto and Boruto is Naruto had a deep talk no jutsu about, you know, okay, this is a bad path to go down or, like, just think about what you're doing or stuff like that. Well, Boruto's just like, hey, man. Think about when we played Ninja Uno. Oh, yeah, with Kagura. That's his yeah, name. Yeah, Kagura. I, can't, I thought it was Kagura, yeah. Kagura. It's real close. I almost got it. I almost yeah. got it. Yeah, like, even in, like, his highest, like, intensity situations, it, it's kind of, yeah, I said, remember when we were playing Uno? Like, come <laughs> on, what kind of, like, like real, like, talk no jutsu was that? Yeah. And uh, one thing I really liked that they kind of like, uh, I feel like back in that arc, we complained a lot about um, how strong Borto was before he even became a Genin. Uh -huh. And then we have Kakashi just like straight up telling us, damn, you're like you're as good as tuning right now. It's like you're super OP, man. It's Because uh, if we're going off like Kakashi's metric of, okay, when he was 12 years old, he became a Jonin. Nar the Boruto is actually pretty close to that at this point. <laughs> yeah, like his fighting skills are actually pretty good. Like uh, when he did that one combo where he did like the wind techniques on his palms, it just like shot forward with like a lightning kunai. Yeah, but that was only a clone, and it was all a fan. It's like, man, that was actually that was pretty neat. Yeah, he just like almost got the bell. But oh man, I got so hyped in that moment. I yeah, actually... it's like, oh my god, did he actually? And then it's like, oh wait, it's Kashi's freaking the Hokage. He's got the BS up his sleeve. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. does uh, Kakashi not have the Sharingan anymore? 
No, uh, when uh, Naruto Jesus mode <laughs> healed him, it turned back to his original eye. What happened to the Sharingan then? Is it just gone? That's, that's uh, Obito's eye. So when he heals him, it would be Kashi's eye, not Obito's. I, I that's know, what but I'm does, assuming. does the eye go back to Obito? Just kind of go like, oh yeah, eye's gone forever. See, see yeah. a Sharingan. Yeah. I mean, like, Madara did yoink it out. Oh, so. okay. <laughs> I, I was trying to write, I'm like I know that I went somewhere like I don't recall but anyways yeah that that was quite this uh, intense scene back then but uh how'd you feel about the other uh can't call him Genny but the academy students uh let's see Mitsuki is pretty OP as we as we all well knew hey but if Shino wanted to kill him he could <laughs> Well, yeah, but that, I would hope that Chino could kill someone who's, I don't know, like 10 years old? Uh, I don't I know mean, how old they are at this point, but they're I'm pretty... I'm pretty sure pretty... he's like 20 years older than them. Yeah, he's significantly older and more experienced, so... That's, I would hope he could handle them, but, um... Uh, besides that, I do like that Konohamaru was just like, Oh yeah, I'm just gonna just handle everybody, easy mode. Oh yeah, uh, when yeah. he starts like one shutting all the no names. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's good stuff. I was super surprised when we saw like the Kakashi look like starting to get some like uh dialogue in. I was like, oh shoot, is he gonna be like relevant? Because uh, like Kakashi's gonna be a more relevant uh, character in this episode. Is there gonna be a relation there? Nope. But no. Nah. <laughs> Destroyed. Yeah, like they even like started this whole team dynamic between him and like some chick with like these giant ass gloves. Man, I can't remember any of the characters besides I think two ish, and even then I don't even know their names. Yeah, I, besides like the main cast or main secondary cast. Yeah, uh, I think it was like the two chicks that didn't want to be separated, yeah. and then we had like what's their face. The class rep. I forgot her name. But... Uh, how a while. Let's go with that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. But, you know, the class rep summoning the freaking new way again. Just yeah. as, like, a little monkey. And I felt like Konohamaru should have gotten, like, you know, ding with this, uh, like, little whatever he had on his chest. Yeah. But, no, um, no, no. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Konohamaru could just go like, "Oh no, substitution, get out of here." But yeah, yeah. I kind of wish we got to see more uh, Konohamaru jutsus, you know? Like, yeah, but I don't think he can show off until you know it's like, okay, Naruto or not Naruto, Boruto. It's time for your Jonin exam. We're skipping your Chunin exam. You gotta find me one on one for real. I want to see that. I want to see that. I know. Seeing him use, like, the burning ash technique on some kids might have been kind of funny, though. <laughs> you know, I feel like that might be slightly dangerous to their lives. Well, Just... not if he, like, he doesn't explode it, because, you know, if he creates a spark, then it goes boom-boom. Otherwise, it's just hot ash. <laughs> Just, oh, yeah, but you know, it's just a little, a little, a little bit, a uh, little bit of bad idea. Just, just a bit. But anyways, uh, as a whole, this like okay, the Boruto versus Kakashi fight was pretty dang solid. Um, Mitsuki uh-huh. versus the the set, despite it being off screen, Mitsuki versus Shina was nice because yeah. just just because of what it implied. Yeah, like the destruction looked really neat around it. Yeah. Uh, I kind of wish we got to see more of the Anko versus everyone else fight. <laughs> yeah, I'm just mm, I, I, I the Anko versus everyone else fight. I'm just like, eh, 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 Anko, you were just uh, you uh, eh, we're just gonna push you to the side now. There we go. There. We go. I don't know. I kind of wanted to see more. Uh, I kind of wish that she would interact a little bit more with Mitsuki because Rochimaru was her sensei back in the day. But you know, we didn't get to really see that. Yeah. Also, uh, what was it? She was the proctor for Naruto in his chain exam, <laughs> so seeing a little more parallels there would have been pretty nice to see. But you know, we gotta see the snakes. You yeah. know, <laughs> we, we gotta see the snakes. We gotta see the weird snake thing. She kind of just slapping people around with snakes. That's <laughs> the giant good. has whips. <laughs> yep. <laughs> But yeah, uh, let's see. I don't think there are any other notable aspects of the episode, except for 
Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Did we ever see Medley do anything? No. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. pretty sure he showed up. Like, he was making poses in the grass uh, right before they were about to, like, all pounce on Anko. Okay. But aside from that, I don't think much happened this episode. But, like, it was it was a real fun, solid episode, though. So. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I think that's it for us. So yep. make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And check down in the description for all of our social medias and Discord links and all that of the jazz. Yep. Uh, and we shall see you next week. Yep. See you later.